Hello everybody. No one really wants to be fake nice. You just want to be ordinary nice. You don't want to be fake nice. And this is a story about that. You see, everyone I, that I admire can go out without people worrying. You see, people crack a joke, and when I do it, people worry. You see, people out, go out plan, to planned events and enjoy themselves. But when I do it, people worry. I see people around me get put in jobs and people out of their, out, go out of their way to make sure they get driven to the place, even if it is a long way away. But I, ha I have to do the right thing. If I said something, people worry. You see, I am sick of people worrying about me. People should think of the spur of the moment. With me, rather than the big picture, it drives me crazy. I hate it. You see, when I make friends and get drunk with them and then bring them home to the house without saying anything in a nice way, just saying, you're cool, be cool, don't be shy, don't worry, man, man, you're cool, enjoy yourself, have fun. As soon as he gets behind my back, he says things and that he should say to my fucking face. Because that is what a mate would do. Not in a punching kind of way, just a yelling. Because, no, he had to be cool and try not to offend me. But, mate, I am offending you. And you haven't got the guts to say bad things to my face. You expect me not to worry. Well, you're an idiot. And how do you expect me to fucking be? I drink, and if... You look around at the circle of life, everybody does it. Some worse than me, but their friends always tell them when they goof up. They don't say, you're cool, be cool, leave the alphogies on their own. They actually listen. I know he listened when I got mugged. But people nowadays get mugged and I never told him about that. So he should, and everyone should treat me like I need another chance in life to put things right. Maybe then I enjoyed the little baby talk with friends, saying, leave the old fogies on their own, but I want to be a man now. And I want people to understand me. Understand that in, silly, in a silly sort of a way, I had to have had too much baby talk in my life that I am trying to be an adult. You can't change the past though, and you can't you can't put things right either, but you can't change it because it doesn't mean you have to like it. You see everybody in my life was trying to be an adult, but the conversation was just about I am cool. But there might have been a message there, but I was not in the right mind to understand it. And instead of hearing, you're cool, buddy, be cool, leave old bogeys, mate. I know the cool, I know that cool is all right, because really you shouldn't worry about being cool, but it could affect, could be affected on how you go about finding work to suit you. It ain't fucking all right. I don't want to be, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be a little baby who doesn't actually believe in being cool. I watched Home and Away tonight. Old ladies can have a little bit of an argument if someone says they're not cool. I thought that being the only cool adult in Canberra would work, and it does. Everyone does look, doesn't look to me as being authority, and they will never look at me as being authority because I don't do authority because I, pulling the quotey fingers, am too cool for that. And I have fun still, but I don't want to be a friend with, in that way. I want to be an adult, because adults get things done. And being cool keeps you at the top. And only losers will just go, mate, why don't you leave those old folks on their own? Because, and let me say it to you, because... Yeah, I just want to work. 
without me getting in the way. If you're a dick face, I'm sick of explaining myself. I don't want to be fake nice. Fuck off. But in, in sort of a way, mate, I just want to be a normal bloke just enjoying life and having a bit of fun. 